All right, guys. Hey, it's Gerald Mix Jr. here from uh, Las Vegas, Nevada. Just uh, you just now saw the main event happen on the parachute. The project was a six-inch near-minimum diameter rocket called Death from Above. Flew on a Cesaroni single-use O25000. Uh, that motor has a carb or a say fiberglass case. The was a single grain motor that burned for 1.32 seconds. It's like a 6,000 pound uh, sledgehammer for a 112 pound rocket that uh, burned out at 500 feet and coasted to 30,000 feet. So I think that's kind of neat. Uh, the background of the project, um, I wanted to burn as much impulse as close to the ground in the smallest possible rocket that I could do. And this was the motor that I thought that fit the bill for that. I've done it in smaller configurations with the H399 and a 29mm rocket and the Aerotech J1999 and a 54mm rocket years ago. So just moved up and graduated into a bigger motor, bigger rocket. I got help on the rocket uh, from Guy Hardy. It's all, all aluminum. I didn't think a, compo a composite rocket could do it. So we did it all aluminum top to bottom with the exception of one spot in the nose cone for a fiberglass and plywood for the GPS antennas to be able to record and transmit. Uh, data properly. Um, the fins are actually a 3 16th inch aluminum fin that have little brackets. I kind of took that idea from the Proteus rocket that's been at Balls for the past few years. Not this year, I don't believe, but I like that setup and how the fins were attached, so I tried to mirror that. And then um, for the electronics section, I used a Marsa 54 altimeter and then a Perfect Flight Stratologer. That Marsa 54 has a 100G one because I factored, I was guesstimating it would be about 50 Gs was just the threshold of the regular Marsa 54s. So I bought the 100G version, which works fine. It actually pulled 71 Gs, so it pulled more than what I was forecasting, which is great. And then all the insides of it were built uh, with the uh, um, plan of it, it pulling 100 Gs. So the batteries are very secure. Um, the altimeters were very, very secure, and then I used a GoPro camera, which was in a pretty uh, rigid case, so that worked great, as you can see on the onboard video. It worked fantastic. Um, I used a black powder charges, 5 grams for the drogue section, 8 grams for the main. Just used a lot of electrical tape and Gorilla Tape to hold all the chargers in, so it all 5 grams fired. I used three uh, number six shear pins, so the, a one shear pin has about 100 pounds of force to hold it in. So I used three of those, so I made, needed to make sure I used a lot of black powder to get the two charges to separate. Um, I used a TAC 9C parachute for the uh, main event parachute, which I set for 3,500 feet, just so we could visually spot it. I used a method of putting the parachute under a vacuum bag to suck all the air out so I could get it to fit in the tube, because it was very, very hard to fit. And that worked successfully. I was able to get it to pack down very small. And as you saw in the main event, the parachute opened right up. So it worked really, really great. I used one inch tubular uh, nylon, and then I used 9 16 inch tubular Kevlar. So I used a combination of both for both drogue and main, the tubular Kevlar to take the heat, and then the elasticity from the tubular nylon. On um, the GPS, I used a Anticore AIM Extra from South Africa. I got some good help from uh, Gary Stroik on just getting it all dialed in, and it worked successfully. Um, it picked up the GPS again at 15,000 feet, so it was still going up and coasting up, and it was able to track it all the way down to it, and the rocket landed just six miles away, or just under six miles away, I'll say, and it took the coordinates right to it. So that was uh, exciting to have that worked. Had the, uh, now have the current Tripoli altitude record, I'll say, for 2013 at 30,000 feet or just over. So we'll see how long that record holds, or let's see if I decide to build something that'll fly at a higher altitude. But I was very successful, very, very successful. I was very happy with the results, and I'm glad it worked. And glad everyone came by to uh, thank me and congratulate me and enjoyed the flight. So uh, thanks again, everyone, for the help me on it. I'll recap it in the credits. Skippy out.